Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about my Disney audition experience and if you want to know more about auditioning for Disney or if you're interested in auditioning for Disney, then I will give all the information that I know and I will put it in this video. Um, but yeah, if you want to hear more about my personal Disney audition experience, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, here we go. I have notes, so if I keep looking off to the side or down, it's because I wrote down my little notes so that I can try and be as accurate as possible. Just a quick little, not really disclaimer, just a little tidbit of info for you, <laughs> is um, I haven't made it past round one, um, except for one audition. Um, so I personally like firsthand only know up until round one but I do have like some friends that I know that work there right now and um, what they did for other rounds and other videos that I've heard so um, I'm just gonna put as much information that I know out there um, so that anybody who's interested in auditioning or just wants to know about the audition process can get as much information from this video as possible so let's get started so my first audition I went to was in my le my senior year of high school and it was like before I graduated or anything um, and the one who actually pushed me to go to it was my mom so my mom kind of started this whole thing which was pretty cool um, I had always dreamed about wanting to audition for Disney and um, working in the parks and everything like that um, but that dream kind of became like like a like a goal for me um, in high school when we went on our Disney trips for choir and everything and I just fell in love and was determined to uh, fulfill that dream and see it come true so it's kind of my background auditioning like with why I kind of want, wanted to audition for Disney in the first place um, and I had been waiting for them to come to Chicago um, and they weren't so <laughs> um, I was like oh there's one for Moana and I really would love 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 to be friends with Moana so I said oh there's like one for Moana um, for Shanghai Disney and um, my mom was like well it's in Chicago and I was like no it's in Orlando and then she's like okay well let's go and I was like what and I was like you, you mean like we have to like you know we have to like fly down there and everything and like my family just isn't the type to like go fly down cuz I don't know just like I don't know it's a lot of money like we're just not the type to like oh yeah let's let's just fly to Orlando for a weekend so we're not that kind of family so I was very shocked when I was like yeah let's just fly down um, but we did we ended up flying down for a couple of days and this one was for Shanghai because um, they had just opened it it was like about to be their one-year anniversary and everything so at the audition I got there at like 845 850 ish um, and it started at 10 technically but like the sign-in time was 9 um, and I was number 99 already showing up like an hour and 15 minutes before the before the audition so if that's kind of some info on like how people or how early some people get there and whatnot um, 300 ish people total came to that one and I ended up being like number 99 100 yeah. Once everyone was in there, they gave us the spiel of like, thank you so much for coming. If we don't choose you this time, please come back. Um, and maybe like try and find something you can improve upon and then come back. Like one of the ones is like, take some dance classes, then come back to the audition. Um, and we're always looking for something new every couple of weeks. Our program changes on what we're looking for. So I was like, cool. It was nice of them. That it, it really set the tone for the audition to have like just be a lot of fun, low pressure kind of experience. Um, and yeah, so they split the group in half. So I was in the group of the first 150. And then they taught us a three count, three eight count dance. Um, and we learned that and it was, it wasn't that hard, but it was like a little bit more intermediate, I think. The only dancing that I've done is just community theater and high school theater and all that jazz. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and so we learned a two to three count, or two to three eight count dance. Um, and yeah, it wasn't too difficult. Um, we did it in groups of five, and then we walked up to the casting director and they looked at us, and then we went back. I liked the number spot that I was in because I could watch the dance a lot of times and kind of mark it on the side. Yeah, so then they called out about 15 people's numbers, I would say. Yeah, it was like 10% of the people. It was crazy. Um, and then everyone else, we just went home and everything, but it was a really, really cool experience. So yeah, so I got, didn't get pulled, so I didn't get pulled for that one, and then 
my I called my dad and I was like, hey dad, we didn't get pulled, but can I go to Flower and Garden with mom? Um, because it was like the last week of Flower and Garden Festival, so he said yes because I was like, I didn't make it, blah, blah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we turned the day around and we went to Flower and Garden, which was, oh, I loved it. It was so, so, so pretty. It was just, yeah, it was beautiful. Um, so that was my first audition that I ever went to and it was a super fun experience. Um, and yeah, so that was my first one. My second one was at July 27th, um, and this one was in Florida. Oh yeah, sorry. The other one was in Orlando. This one, this upcoming one was in Orlando. And I flew down with my friends Megan and Maddie, and um, we just decided to do the same thing of flying down for a couple days and going to the audition, and then, um, you know, spending a day in the parks because, duh, I feel they are gonna do it, right? <laughs> so, um, this one was for Walt Disney World and it was for Elsa, Cinderella, Rapunzel, and Tiana. And we got there, same thing, like about 4.45, 4.50 in the afternoon and then the audition started at 6. When we got there, the line was out the door. And when I say out the door, I mean out the door. <laughs> like, it was... If you've ever been to the Animal Kingdom rehearsal lodge or hall or something, because um, obviously it's a very poppin' place to go to, um, where the cars enter the parking lot and where they can like go park and whatever, that's where the line was 10 minutes after we got in line. So we were about like midway like out the door. Like, there were so many people and later we had found out there was like over 800 girls who showed up to that audition, which is insane. So we got there and we were in like the 200s. Um, so first they, they gave the same spiel of yeah, thank you for coming, that whole thing. And then they started taking groups of 50, and then they increased to a group of 100, and then they increased to a group of 150, <laughs> and I think they realized like how many people were coming and they had to like churn people out fast, right? So, oh my lanta. <laughs> okay. Are we done? Thanks. He's done. So we got called in with a group of 150, and we actually like talked to one girl, we kind of made friends with her, her name's Holland, and she was so, so nice, and um, we just kind of sat with her and talked with her and everything, um, got to know her a little bit, we like followed each other on Instagram, that whole thing, and that's a really fun part of the Disney auditions, is like, you never know who like you're gonna meet, and um, it's always good to make friends, because it's a super cool community to be a part of, of like, basically a community of dreamers, like that's so cool. <laughs> so. Yeah, so we got talking with Holland and everything, and then we all got called into the audition room because she was right by us in line. And this one was a type out, so this one's literally, you just walk up to them. There's no dance, no nothing. You just walk up to them. They called out three numbers out of 150 girls. <clears throat> so, um, that's how that went, and one of them was Holland, and now she works at Disney World, which is so cool. That's a big thing, is like, talking to people because you never know who you're gonna meet and who's gonna end up being someone who gets to work there so yeah super cool that was my second one that I went to with um, my best friends Megan and Maddie my third one I went to was the DCP audition um, it was on it was in September and I went it was in Chicago which I was like bless up I'm done paying for flights um, but this one was downtown thankfully and I just live an hour not even train ride from Chicago so it was really convenient and i um, really glad it was here um, I went downtown with my friend Brendan um, and we arrived at the studio about 8.45, 9 o'clock. The audition started at 10. Um, and then we saw no one was there, so we went to the Starbucks right next to it. And it was like a Target Starbucks, so we like went up the stairs and I was like, huh, no one seems to be like around or anything. Like I thought people would be here by now. Little did I know. <laughs> I was going up the escalator and then all of a sudden I just see a table full of people who were going to the audition and I was like, ooh, what? I did not know. I did not expect it. So me and Brennan were like, oh my gosh. So we got our Starbucks and then we kind of walked around Target and then left and went to the studio. We got to the studio around 9.15 um, and we checked in around 9.30. And now they have you do it on your phone where they like, you just type in your name and like what number you got, whatever. So I was like number 23, 22, something like that. Um, so we were early on um, and we got pulled with the first group of people. It was a group of 70, yeah, a group of 70. Um, and this was like the dance was super easy. Like if you can walk, you can do this parade march. It's like a, yeah, like I said, it's a parade march, really easy. We were in groups of four and it's just like where you like do it like wa walking towards the casting director and then um, we did it like a couple times we did it like multiple times 
Um, and then, yeah, it was a, that one was a super cool environment too because it was just all like college program people and people who applied and everything. So everyone's just super like cheery for everyone and like that kind of thing. Yeah, so me and Brendan, we got cut from that one, but then we turned the day around and we went to the Shed Aquarium because it was like a free day for Illinois residents. So I was like, cool, let's go. Um, so we went, um, which was really fun. And then the fourth one I've been to was in October and it was for Hong Kong Disneyland. This one was like different than any other ones that I've been to, um, but I went downtown with Maddie. Um, we arrived at nine and the audition started at 10 and we were numbers three and four because we got there and there were literally two girls sitting on a couch. And we were like, are you guys here for the Disney audition? They were like, yeah, they said they're not here yet. So we're just gonna wait. I was like, okay. So we waited and literally only 26 girls showed up to that. And I was like, what? I was so confused just because everyone I've been to, like there were incredible lines. Like there was just so many people there. So we, yeah, there were 26 people total and we learned like another three count dance, three eight count dance, I keep playing three count, three eight count dance. Um, and it was the same thing where you walk up, have the casting directors look at you and then leave. Um, so for that one, only five people stayed. Um, and yeah, so that was my fourth one that I went to. And my fifth one that I went to was not for a character performer, but it was for Disney World as well. Um, this one is, was in Chicago. And this is the one I got past round one. Basically, I got a call back, that's it. <laughs> that's all that means. Um, but this one was for a new show they're putting on in Animal Kingdom, which was super, super cool. Um, and it was a great experience still, it was really fun. Um, so I went downtown by myself and I arrived at nine-ish. Um, started at 10 and I was number four. Um, there were seven people total. So this one was even smaller, but like it, it was still really fun. Um, so basically what we had to do was prepare a monologue and then do it for the director, the choreographer, and then the casting director. Um, so we got to do it for the director of the show and it was super cool and it was an awesome, awesome experience. So I did my monologue and I got a couple chuckles, which is good. I felt really good about it. Um, it just like boosts your confidence when like while you're doing the monologue they laugh because then you're like oh you're just feeding off of their energy which is really cool um and then they said what did they say oh they were like um thank you here are this here are some sides we'd like to see you come back and read it so i was like cool so i considered that getting past round one or like call back um so from my lot got called back, yes. And then, so I went in and did it for them a couple times with like each time they like kind of tweaked it, asking me for different things. And then they, at the end, they were like, thank you so much, your energy was so great. We hope to see you back. Keep an eye out for the Disney Audition website and like all that stuff. So that made me feel really good about it. Um, and it was super fun. It was like the casting, all the people, the people who were working there, like coming from Disney to audition and everything. Um, or like, to hold the auditions, I guess. We're super, super nice. And like, it was such a great experience and I'm so lucky that I got to do that. Those are the five Disney auditions that I have been to. Um, each of them a little bit different, all of them a great experience. I would say if you wanna audition for Disney, go for it. It's just such a great experience. And um, you meet a lot of cool people there. Um, so I would say if you're looking to audition for Disney and you're nervous about it or you're scared, just go for it because there are so many people who either feel the same way as you or are gonna be there to pump you up and give you the moral support. So I would say definitely go for it if you want to audition for Disney. Um, and every time that you expose yourself is one step closer to getting that job if you want it, you know? Um, you can't get something if you're not gonna step out of your comfort zone to go get it, essentially. Thank you guys so much for watching my Disney audition experience video. If you wanna see a video on maybe some tips that I have for a Disney audition, then give this video a thumbs up just so that I know that you would want to see something like that. And if you wanna see more videos from me, subscribe down below. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. jamming to the ad. Literally no one's in my house right now and this is what I'm doing. <laughs> I look like a fishy. I'm so weird. I am in a very weird mood right now. I apologize. Because my lips are 
the Sahara Desert from this frickin' winter we're having. <gasps> I broke. Oh, no. It literally broke. No. I'm feeling like it's such a combination of emotions. 